So in this video, we are finally gonna take a look at the trend line tool in TradingView. We will take a look at how to use it, what are the best settings for the trend line tool, and we will also take a quick look at how do we actually draw these trend lines in an effective manner. So without further ado, let's get started right away here. And first of all, to open the trend line tool in TradingView, we go up to the upper left corner and we press on this uh, button right here. To make sure we have the right tool, we go a little bit to the right, we press trend trend line tools here. And what we want to use here is the first button called trend line. So now we have our trend line tool open and to draw a trend line, you basically press on one point on the chart and then you drag your mouse and where you want the trend line to end, you press once again. So this is basically how you draw a trend line in TradingView. Now guys, before we take a look at what is the best way to actually draw these trend lines so we can make as good trades as possible, before we look at that, let's take a look at how can we actually customize this trend line. And to change how this trend line looks like, we press on it and then a new uh, window will appear here you can change a few things on this small window. For example, you can change the color here. Let's say we want to change uh, the color to purple. We simply press purple. You can also see that when we are here, if we go down to where it says opacity, if you want your, if you want to be able to see through your trend line, you can change the opa opacity here. Uh, but for this video, let's use blue. I think this one stands out quite a lot. Here, where it says where it says 4px, if you want to change how uh, wide the trend line is, you can press this one. Uh, for for this video, I'm using the widest uh, the widest setting, which is 4. But if you, for example, want to make the trend line smaller, you can click here on 2, and you can see that the appearance of the trend line gets much smaller. But for this video, I actually do want to use a wider trend line, so let's choose 4 here. If you want to go a bit more in detail on the settings, you can press on this cog right here where it says settings. Uh, and here you will get a few more options. You can, for example, extend the line to the left, then the line will go all the way to the left. You can extend the, right, uh, the line to the right. And you have many different options here that you can mess around with if you want to. Uh, but most traders will probably not use these ones a lot. Uh, most of the traders basically draw these uh, trend lines by hand. And now you hopefully know how to draw a trend line. But now to a very important point, how do we actually draw these trend lines correctly? Well, there are two basic principles you always want to follow when you draw the trend lines. First of all, you want to connect at least two major points. And what do I mean by major points? Well, I'm talking about points that really stand out on the chart here. So if you look at this chart, hopefully you can see that we are in a downtrend right here. And what are the what are the highs and lows that stands out the most on this chart? Well, in my opinion, it's pretty clear that we have one high right here, a lower high and a lower high. We also have, you know, different lows. We have one low right here. We have a lower low and we have a lower low. And of course, within these points, we do have some smaller highs and lows. We pretty much have, you know, trends within the trends here, but let's not get too technical on this video. What you want to look out for when you draw a trend line is that you want to look out for the most sort of major points here. So you want to connect at least one, two of these points. So here we are connecting two points. But the second principle when drawing your trend lines is that you want to have as many touches as possible without, you know, any major break of the line. So for example, this line, you can see we can actually adjust this line to have much more than two points. Right here, we have one touch, two touch, three touches and four touches. And you can see that we were able to draw this trend line without any major break. If we zoom in right here, so now I'm holding control and zooming in, you can see that during this candle right here, during the day, the bulls managed to push the price up here, but we never got a strong candle close above this downward sloping blue line. So when I draw trend lines, I usually allow for price action actions such as that. If during the day or whatever time frame you're using, the price goes up and then quickly goes below, then, then the trend line is still valid. When you look at trend lines, you should try to not see them as perfect lines. The trend lines 
should actually be seen more of as a sort of price zone. So it would perhaps be better if we actually draw some sort of zone right here because nothing in markets is perfect. We will never have a perfect line. In this example, we had a very clean trend, but most of the times you will see you know, some price action uh, above, you will see some peaks happening uh, slightly below. The trend lines will not be perfect. All right, okay, so now you hopefully know how to draw a trend line in TradingView. And guys, if you're interested in learning more about how to use TradingView, I actually have a longer guide, a TradingView tutorial for 2023, which I highly recommend you all to watch if you want to get better at using TradingView.